Hi guys, uh, I'm Ashutosh and uh, today I'm back with another tutorial on deploying deep learning or machine learning application built with React and Flask to go to Heroku. So uh, you can see on the screen that I have created both Flask and React, React application for uh, demo purpose. So on the left side of the screen, you can able to see uh, flask application and on the right side of the screen this is a react application so let's see how this works and then we'll go about uh, we'll talk about deployment so to run the flask application we'll just run uh, command flask run and for react application we'll just say npm start so npm start has started our application which is a react website and this is a sentiment uh, prediction application so if i write something some sentence here and I, if i if i click on this button so it will uh, show the sentiment of the sentence like it is if it is positive then it will show positive if it is negative then it will show negative so let me uh, write i am good boy so you can see that uh, the our application is predicting positive if i am saying let's say i am bad boy see you can see that it's predicting and it's working completely fine now i want to deploy this application to any cloud so that we can access uh, it on the internet so first let us close the applications and we'll talk about how, how can we deploy this application so we know that uh, we can deploy a static website on github but where to uh, host a server can we do it for free yes we can how so Heroku provides uh, a facility to deploy uh, a server or an application on their cloud so basically Heroku is a cloud where you can host any app, any type of application so if I create an application here I can host my flask uh, app here on Heroku and we know that we can uh, deploy the website on github so what we'll do here is we'll deploy our server side means the flask app on Heroku and we'll deploy our client side means the react website on github so first let me deploy my server side application which is flask on Heroku first so what we'll do is first uh, we we have to go to heroku.com and heroku uh, dashboard.heroku.com if you have not already registered sign in for free and it won't ask for credit card or debit card details uh, generally uh, many websites ask for that but this does not ask for that then you can go and you can create a new application you can uh, give any name i am giving sentiment analysis so this name is not available i am adding ashutosh behind it so yeah so I am keeping the name Sentiment Analysis Ashutosh and I am creating the app. So it's very easy to create a, a, a server side application with this because Heroku gives you the commands uh, to uh, deploy your application. So first you need to uh, install Heroku CLI which is the command line application of Heroku to deploy the application. So based on the uh, your operating system you need to install Heroku CLI Heroku CLI uh, so I have already done that so I'm not doing it again so but you can do it if you have uh, if you haven't yet after doing it we'll do Heroku login so in the command line just copy this command and go to our command line and do Heroku login so it will tell you to press any key, press any key other than Q and will it will open up 
uh, yeah so it will open up the login screen you just have to press login and you will uh, you will be automatically logged in when you see your terminal now i want to deploy it so we will just follow the uh, follow the description and command one more thing and one of the most important thing in deploying is you uh, is you need you need to create a proc file what is this proc file is that proc file maps your local uh, server app to that remote server app it means that if you have created app.py here for your flask application it will be mapped to the remote app.py and this tells uh, the heroku that which app to run or which file to run when uh, on running the flask server and uh, you can simply create the proc file and you can add this only just one line which is web colon g unicorn and app colon app this uh, is just one line you need to add so we added the content now what we need to do is how heroku deploys the, uh, this server application is it creates a repository on on the cloud and then it deploys that repository into kind of a application so if you don't have git already you need to first initialize the git after initializing the git uh, you, you have to you have to add your files but which files to include we don't want to include include this py cache and virtual environment files we just need need to include app proc file and requirement.txt if you have your model file or a pre-trained model you can add that as well so i am just adding requirement.txt app.py and uh, proc file so i added these three files now i will do the commit which is git commit and i'll say sentiment analysis application So we have committed it but we don't have git remote so you can follow this guideline and you can get this command which is heroku git colon remote so what this will do is it will add the remote origin to your local repository so that when you push your code it will be pushed to uh, not your github account but the heroku's cloud so it's uh, it, so you can see that git remote heroku to this one so this is the repository where this will upload your code or this flask application that you have created now to push that code we already did git add we already did git commit so we just need to do git push heroku master note that we are not doing git push master because it will add to your github repository but we are not uh, we don't want to do that so we are doing git push heroku master so what it will do is it will first push the code then it will uh, build the code so uh, what it will do is it will install the uh, dependencies or it will install the pip, all the pip packages that you have dip, uh, specified in your requirement.txt you can see here it is doing the same so now you can see that our uh, application is deployed to heroku and what if you want to see your application so uh, uh, or uh, what if you want to check that your application is working or not so on the default route i have uh, defined this jsonify response so if i uh, access the url of the application i should be able to see or if i, I should be able to get this response so uh, where is the uh, how can i get the url for that uh, application the deployed flask server uh, server application so you can go to settings you can go to the below and you can get this url right here so it is sentiment analysis ashutosh which is the application name dot heroku app dot com if you click on this application it will open up into the next step and you can see the response that we have created here 
now the second part is to deploy our react website uh, but uh, actually i have already made that video to deploy react website on github pages you can find the link of that video in the description box below uh, but, but keep in mind that here for calling the api of this flask app we are calling https localhost but before uh, deploying your application you need to convert this url or you have you uh, have to replace this url with the new uh, url that we our uh, application is deployed on which is this one sentiment analysis ashutosh.heroku.com so just copy that url and just paste it in here just paste it here and now now you can deploy your application after you deploy your application your react application to github pages just go to the url where your react application uh, is hosted so just go to the uh, just go to the url where your react application is hosted so this react application is hosted on github pages so i can access it from here and just write now uh, and just write any sentence which is i am writing i am a good boy and it will predict the sentiment yeah so you can now see that it is predicting the sentiment as positive and if i am writing a bad bad boy so it will again predict the sentiment as negative so we have deployed our end to end application which is a deep learning application to uh, to cloud and we can access it using this website on inter on the internet and again uh, for your information we have deployed this react website to github pages and uh, in this react website we are calling uh, calling an api to the flask server which is deployed on heroku so i have illustrated the complete end to end flow if you want to uh, if you want the code for this applications both flask application and react application then i have attached a github repository link in the description box you can go and check it out and you can also use it for this tutorial purpose so that's it for today and uh, i'll be back with another tutorial next week till then stay safe